Welcome back, Adjuteers. So I thought today we'd have a little bit of fun and have a look at the AMD Phenom 2 X6 system that I have here, which is a 6-core processor running at 2.8 gigahertz on this particular machine. So my goal here is to do a upgrade on this system, which I've been wanting to do for quite a while. Now, it used to have a... SSD inside it, but as you recall, I took the SSD out of it and put it in my new Ryzen 7 1700 Dell desktop computer. And I had the one terabyte drive that I replaced and put into this system here. So now I bought a one terabyte SSD for the Dell Ryzen. So I have this particular SanDisk SSD 240 gigabyte that came out of the Ryzen 7 system. And I want to put it back into this Phenom 2X6 system. The cool thing is what my plan is, is to go ahead and do some testing with it and see how it works with Kden Live Editor. So if you recall, I do have a video called the 4K Render Wars where I took a two minute 4K video and I did a render using both, well actually more than both. I used a Yoga 920 running Kden Live. I used my Dell Ryzen 7 running Kden Live. I used a MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, and a MacBook running both iMovie and Final Cut Pro 10 and did a comparison of the render times of that two minute video. So this particular system I actually never did do added to that comparison so I'm pretty geeked to try it out and I really do believe that this SSD will make a difference and speed things up so my thoughts were to go ahead and add it and see what happens. Now this particular system here, like I mentioned before, it's got two 8 gigabyte DIMMs in it. They are DDR3. This is a Biostar motherboard model number TA890GXE. And I actually built this system probably getting close on to about maybe 10 years ago. And I had three or four systems. I bought four of those motherboards and I bought three uh, Phenom 2 X2 processors and then I bought myself a Phenom 2 X6 processor. Alright, so we've got the SSD in now. I decided to put it in the bottom here so it wouldn't be affected by the heat from the main one terabyte drive. The one terabyte standard drive does have a different operating system on it, which is good. I can still use that. So I'm running Linux Mint 18 on that one. I've got some large fans in here to keep it cool that I added to the system. I've got one down on the bottom to the right, and I've got that larger fan up there to the left, and I think it'll be able to stay nice and cool. All right, here we are. We're booted into Linux, but we did have a few problems, as I'm sure you can imagine. So I'm going to show you what happened. First of all, the system was looking for my 4 terabyte standard hard drive that I had in the Dell Ryzen, and it would actually force it to go into emergency boot mode, which is single user. So I suspected it was that drive based on the message regarding the SDB3 device. So I came in here to VI in FS tab and I removed my manual mount line. I like to have the drive mounted without having to mount it every single time in the graphical interface so I put this line in FS tab to make it easier on me when the computer boots up. But it was causing a problem and interestingly enough this didn't used to be an issue in Fedora 27 so I'm not sure what changed but in Fedora 28 um, it definitely got stuck and could not find that drive so it immediately dumped down to emergency mode. 
So I just remmed out that statement, but I always leave things there. Notice that I used a remark so that the statement is remmed out because I can easily change that for another drive altogether. All right, so I successfully copied over the 4K render war files that I need from my four terabyte easy store drive, my external drive. And now they are on the SSD. We want to make sure they're there because all the other systems were tested using an SSD. So we want to keep everything equal on our test. But I want to show you real quick the settings that I used in Caden Live. And at the same time, I've got my system monitor up, which I'm going to use to measure processor usage and memory usage. Now, I use six threads. Um, equal to the number of cores that are in the system instead of doubling that. I found that on at least this older system it tends to work best if you use too many threads you'll overwhelm the 16 gigabytes of memory that's in the system which usually causes Caden Live to crash. So over here in the rendering settings um, I've got video set at 19 I have threads at 6 and I have the encoder speed at faster I believe is what the setting is and of course I'm going to use the standard mp4 because that's quickest when rendering using Caden Lime and video is 19 audio 160 exactly as all the other tests that we did so we're gonna go ahead and start the render and see what happens so CPUs at 99% usage and we're waiting for a time estimate here all right well as luck had it I actually was rendering the wrong file I was rendering the uh, actual 4k video that I was gonna upload to YouTube the final test results so I had to abort it and go find the actual 4k render war test render which is this one and open that and you'll see that the render time estimated render time when it starts is way faster than it was showing just a minute ago it was showing 31 minutes well we need it to be way faster than that because it's only a two minute file so the render is all done I was surprised we got a total render time of 10 minutes 58 seconds 10 minutes 58 seconds now I pulled up the stats from my previous 4k render war videos and I actually did not use the AMD Phenom X6 like I thought I did actually Phenom 2 but anyway I did not use this computer in that render war test so I put it into my spreadsheet with the rest of the numbers that I came up with during my render I was really surprised the Yoga 920 with the 4 core i7 Coffee Lake processor which came in at 588 seconds just barely beat the AMD Phenom 2x6 at 650 seconds so it literally is only 10 percent difference between rendering on the yoga 920 which i paid 1400 bucks for and this i believe 10 year old phenom 2 x6 behind me that i've had for basically forever i must have bought it i think in like 2008 or 2009 maybe even earlier i upgraded four PCs at my home. I bought the same motherboard. Was it four? Let me think. One, two, three. Yeah, four computers. And I bought dual core X2 processors for the computers my sons use. And I bought this X6. So surprise of surprises. Now the next one down was the MacBook Air running iMovie at 395 seconds and the Dell Ryzen 7 1700 running Kden Live at 280 seconds and the MacBook Pro 2017 running iMovie at 221 seconds the MacBook Air 2013 running Final Cut Pro at 194 seconds and finally the MacBook Pro 2017 Final Cut Pro 99 seconds so about a minute and a half so yeah the Phenom X2 excuse me X6 is definitely way slower I mean 10 minutes almost 
almost 11 minutes, excuse me, it actually was 10 minutes, 58 seconds. I couldn't see it that well up close. So it's actually almost 11 minutes, so 658 seconds. So in all reality, you know, I could have just kept rendering with this. I didn't necessarily have to buy the laptop, but the purpose of the laptop was for travel. Now, the real competitor is the Dell Ryzen 7 1700 at 280 seconds. That's a huge difference. So strictly looking at the speed increase, the Ryzen 7 1700 is 57% faster than the decade-old X6 Phenom 2, which really is quite a bit. It is way faster. It's not like I'm going to be editing and rendering 4K video on this thing anytime soon. I don't want to stick around for 10 or so minutes, almost 11 minutes, just for two minutes of video render, when in reality, I really need to get things done, so I can't just wait. And if you think I'm going to be doing, say, a 10 minute video, we might be looking at hours of render time, but it does do 1080p relatively decent. So I've got a backup editor here, and with that SSD in, it does make somewhat of a difference, and it runs well. Anyway, just kind of a video to hang out and do something kind of fun. So I hope you enjoyed it. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time on Fast Gadgets. This video was made possible with support from viewers like you. If you find this video useful, consider becoming a patron for as little as a dollar a month at patreon.com forward slash fast gadgets.